Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 1, 16, 18 to 21 and 24. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a man of honor and wanting to spare her publicity, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. Trust in God He did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. Our relationship with God should be one where we trust in God. Many times, our prayer lives are limited to thanking God and asking God for something. There should be more. We should be seeking union with God, deep friendship with Him through the Trinitarian experience. This is where Joseph is a wonderful example. I am sure Joseph, not understanding how his wife-to-be got pregnant, but knowing full well what that would mean for her, prayed about it. In his subconscious, God instructed him, and he obeyed because he trusted God. Do we trust God enough? It is important to spend time with God to build that trust. Let us pray to St. Joseph to guide us on the way of trusting God as he did, so that we can become intimate with God. Intimacy will make us instruments of God's love for others, caring for Jesus, as St. Joseph did, in the people we encounter in life. St. Joseph, pray for us that we may learn to trust God with our entire being. Amen. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be, a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May He come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.